Hello again. We'll now look at some more ideas of hypothesis testing. First is this idea of type 1, type 2 error. So we know that we are basing our hypothesis test or decision on just one sample. And so the evidence is assessed on the basis of probabilities. Now, if you fail to reject the null hypothesis, it does not guarantee that H0 is true. On the other hand, if we do reject the null hypothesis, it doesn't mean that H0 is false. So we can get unusual data. As we said earlier, you can actually get 10 heads in a row and 10 tosses of a coin. So there are two types of errors involved in here. The first is what's called type 1 error. And this occurs when we reject a true null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis H0 is true, but we've rejected it based on our data. And essentially, the probability of a type 1 error is the same as probability that our observed value lies in the critical region. Given that the H node is true, And so that's equal to our significance level alpha. And that's why we take alpha to be small, because we will try to minimize this probability. We don't want to reject a two hypothesis. <clears throat> Type 2 error is the other way. Failing to reject a false null hypothesis. Now, of course, we'd, <coughs> excuse me, we'd also like to we'd also like to minimize the probability of type two error, but the problem is we can't do both together, and the type two error is related to what we call power. So I'll just put here in brackets, and we won't deal with this, but you will probably see this in some latest test courses, or you might see this in some other places. It's related to the power of the test. What we'd like to do is have a test with high power, but also low probability of type 1 error. And the only way to do that is to have a larger and larger sample size, and of course we know that's expensive. So we can actually put this in a tabular form, so that it's clear and easier to see what's going on here. So we have two possibilities here. First of all, H0 is true. O H naught is false. And the other options here on the other side are we don't reject this, fail to reject. Reject, reject H node. <clears throat> so, if H node is true and we fail to reject it, we made the correct decision. But if H0 <coughs> excuse me, is false, and we failed to reject it, reject it, and then that's our type 2 error. If H0 is true and we reject it, 
And that's our type 1 error. And the base note is false, and we reject it, then we made a correct decision. <coughs> so as I said, we usually try and reduce this, and this is our alpha level, or at least not bigger than the alpha level. <coughs> okay, so now we'll take a look at two-sided tests, and that's the next lecture.